Well, here we have the rematch between Joe Frazier and George Foreman. This match was held on the 15th of May 1976. Three years and a half from the, their first match when Foreman won on January 1973. Foreman looks light, strong. Here is Frazier getting up the ground. Doesn't look that fit person, Frazier, that looked on his fight with Clay. <coughs> Perhaps he haven't trained enough also Frazier. Norman still strong as he is. Round one started. Frazier very energetic. But the other fellow is muscular has strong punches, strong deadly punches. What I think is, although Foreman is more stronger, having bigger muscles and strong, yet he was, he was defeatable, could have been defeated by Frazier, but the problem is Frazier technique and Foreman's technique are two techniques that it is a win-win situation for Foreman and it is clear that Frazier haven't solved the code haven't decoded Four months method, or four months technique to find a breakthrough plan to defeat Foreman. In spite of the Foreman strong punches, yet you will see along the match that Frazier was able to land remarkable strong punches that could have been a knockout to Foreman. But Foreman's punches landed on Frazier, affected him and didn't leave him enough strong to to land remarkable punches to defeat Foreman. I think that Frazier quickly realized that he will get defeated this time also. <coughs> I think also as body Frazier isn't fi wasn't fit the way he looked when he met Clay on 1971. Perhaps his hips are more fatter, his waist not that flexible, not that slim the way he looked when he first met Clay. should have planned for a different techniques and thoroughly examined four months techniques to be able to overcome him because there's a saying that 
a sort of madness to apply the same method twice and accept and expect a different result. That's what Frazier did. He should have changed his fighting techniques with Foreman. We, we could not deny that Foreman is very strong, but there had been a way to overcome him. Frazier did not think about it. His trainers did not think about it. This, this is a great effect on Frazier's team. Oh, oh, strong punches landed on Frazier just now. It's very clear, it's a very strong punch from Foreman. Landed on Frazier's head. Here it's clear that Foreman is also is still afraid of Frazier. In spite of his huge muscles, his strength, his being taller, but the last slow clip clear that he's still afraid of Frazier. He's not sure of his complete control of the match. This is the last round that carries the defeat of Frazier. Hopefully. He did not win. I think using his flexible waist that is was not flexible that match was not that flexible as before, but yet it is enough flexible. I think it would not wise to use it with former. I should have concentrated on direct punches, even though his left strong left hook would have helped helped a bit. But I think using the bending waist technique wasn't good with former, as it was with many other fighters. I should have relied on breaking Foreman's defense and reaching his head and body. Trying to land as strong as possible punches on Foreman's body. But here it's clear the end is coming for Frisian. Desperately it is, yes. Oh, that's the end. Still not the exact end, but is clear the, the overall end. Perhaps Frazier had also realized that it is the end and Foreman realized that it is his victory. Oh, oh. I think that's the end of the match and the referee and Frazier tell the referee give up. Sorry. Great sorrow. I oh, guess that is okay. The referee is waving his hands. Of course Foreman is very happy. They're carrying him. <laughs> That's life. Things change. Nothing remains as it is. Yes, that's life. That's life contemplating. Yes. Desperately, that's an end. Although he fought after that clay in Manila. On a rematch or a revenge match that he lost by points. 